Software development isn't what it used to be a year ago. We're shifting from manually writing code to using AI agents in this hybrid workflow where both humans and agents work side by side. And this new type of coding workflow requires a new category of coding tools. This is where Warp introduces its new ADE, the agentic development environment. I've partnered with them and in this video, I'm going to show you the new principles that actually matter. AI coding isn't just about giving prompts to your AI agents. It's actually about filling the context window with the right information at the right time. And for that, you need to learn about these essential principles. Personally, I've been using Warp as a terminal for a long time. It's been amazing as a terminal and now they've gone ahead and added an AI agent to it as well. And it's actually pretty good. If you want to consider the benchmarks, then right now it scores 75.8% on Bench and ranks number one on Terminal Bench. But through this video, you're also going to see how the agent actually performs and also the great built-in experience they're really providing by directly integrating your terminal and an AI agent to give you one place for everything. Now I'll be guiding you through how I've actually built a project using Warp's new ADE and throughout this demo I'll explain how I've used these different AI coding principles throughout the build of this project. Now the first and most crucial principle is planning. You need to know exactly what features you want the AI to build from the start. Just like when humans develop an app, you can't just add features whenever you feel like it. You need to lay out the proper foundation first and your agent needs the complete picture of what you're trying to build. The clearer your input, the more accurate the output will be. In my case, I always start by brainstorming the entire idea with chat GPT. Once I'm clear about what I want in my application, I generate a complete PRD. You need to make sure your PRD is detailed and lists out every feature you want. In this case, my PRD is for creating a full stack application. Now here I'm building a full stack app which allows you to log entries with three different use cases. The first one is pretty straightforward. You manually enter your logs in there. The second use case uses AI to generate a summary of any document that you upload. I'll also be implementing a third use case in which you can use transcription to generate notes, whether it's a personal one or from a meeting. The second principle that I used in building my application is parallel agents. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new repo in Warp. Since we're making a new project, let me make a new folder and open that up. Now, instead of throwing the entire PRD at one AI agent, I break it down into separate chunks. You can think of it like multi-threading. Warp actually has a feature called called multi-thread, where each agent can handle its own specific piece of the project. So one agent focuses on the front end, another one handles the back end, and a separate one takes care of authentication. The key thing is that all of these agents work together through APIs. So what I did first was generate all the APIs I needed based on that PRD from my planning phase. Once I had those APIs ready, each agent could focus on its own part without getting confused. One agent builds out the back end using those APIs, another one creates the front end interface, and then once both of those are ready, the third agent comes in and handles the authentication layer. This approach lets me use multiple agents effectively without any single one getting overwhelmed by too much information. If you're enjoying the content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. We try to get better with every video and your feedback in the comment section always helps us out. You'll notice this little icon in the corner. This is going to open up the warp drive. It has multiple purposes, but one of them is that you add your MCP servers in here. I've already attached a couple of them. I've added the Context 7 MCP and the Playwright MCP. They both have their separate use cases, which I'll show you moving on. Other than that, we also have our rules in here. For example, I added this rule here that makes sure whenever I install dependencies, they're all compatible with each other. Rules and MCP are part of an important principle that I'll explain later on. After that, we have our starter prompts. And this brings me to our third principle, reusable components. Using this, you don't need to keep typing prompts frequently. And since prompts are the main way to direct these AI agents, you're going to find yourself using them quite often. So instead, you save your prompts once and reuse them. Then in the same principle, we have starter workflows. Workflows are really powerful because they let you set up templated commands that you or your team can run anytime. For example, I created a workflow here for initializing a Next.js application. Whenever I ask an AI agent to set up a Next.js project, it always takes four attempts because they mess up the naming conventions first. But these templated commands allow me to solve simple problems like these and many more. And finally, there are notebooks. Think of notebooks like extended readmes or markdown docs that you can feed your AI agents for context whenever it needs it. So now I've got my application opened up. I already have my warp drive set up. 
Now, instead of typing out a whole new prompt every time, I can just hit a backslash, scroll through my saved prompts, and pick the one I saved for the back end, and the agent will run that. And this is where the fourth principle comes in, task management. Task management for AI agents is really important, and almost all the good AI agents have it as built-in tools. Warp also provides task management using a to-do list. You can clearly see that Warp has all the tasks that it needs to do laid out, and it's going to work on them one by one. Since these AI agents have context windows that get shortened over time, the AI agents always need a clear outline of the tasks that they need to do, otherwise they would hallucinate. I'll be leaving some template prompts for you in the video resources so that if you also want to implement a full stack app by following these coding principles, then you can plug our prompts and build it using the API as the base blueprint and building on top of that. Now moving to the next principle, context management. For this, we're coming back to rules and MCP servers. If you look closely, you can spot the rules I set up earlier. For example, I told it to always use context 7 MCP whenever I'm installing any library or framework. Now, when I drop in a prompt, it doesn't just run blindly. It actually calls the MCP to fetch the latest compatible versions straight from their documentation and actually installs the version using the right commands and also gives any additional context needed to my agent about the new version of that library. Context management is extremely important for AI agents as the models that they use have a training cutoff. So in order to give them context, for external context, we can use MCPs. And for context specific to the project, we should use rules to dictate its behavior. Now let me actually show you how Warp handles parallel multi-threaded work and how I've implemented all the principles in here. Watch this. I'll open up a new tab in Warp, jump over to my prompts, and pick the one I saved earlier. The moment I run it, you can see it's going to start working on that prompt. I've got the front end running over here, the back end running over there, and up in the top right corner, you can see the notifications and the full management panel for all the agents working together. This is how you should do your parallel execution of agents. While Warp is working, you can see the agent icon in the top right corner of the terminal. See the red ping here? This is how agents inform users about task completion. You can see the toast notification that tells you about the agent's completion and then you can go ahead and view the agent's work. So now you can see the back end is up and running and the front end is also live. That means our basic MVP is ready to go, but we're not stopping here. I also want to add authentication. So let's hop into a new tab, hit that slash command and pull up the prompts I saved earlier. Here are my auth APIs and now I'll tell Warp to create authentication for both the front end and back end. You can see that it has started working on the task. So after the agent is done, you can see the auth has been implemented for both front end and back end. Now the reason that they're calling it an ADE is that Warp allows you to view the agent's code changes and also allows you to change the code here yourself as well. So in this way, you're working alongside the agent. Let's say I'm adding a comment in the code. After I've added it, I'll just save that change and it'll save this in the file. Now that both of my main structures are created and secured using authentication, I need to test them out. And for that, I'm going to use validations. Validations are an essential part of this whole life cycle. So at this point, auth is created, front end and back end are ready. For the back end, I'll be using Express Validator and for the front end, I'll go with Zod. Now I'm setting the agents to start on their tasks. And if you look up here, you can already see the notifications from different agents as they start working. All right, everything's set up, so let's check out what was actually made. First thing you'll see is the authentication screen. Now, if you already have an account, you can just sign in, but since I don't, I'll go ahead and sign up. So let's quickly fill out the form and click on sign up. You can see that it's even checking the validation for us and then allows us to sign in successfully. Now here in the dashboard, you'll notice two main features, documents and notes. Let me first show you manual notes. I'll just type something here and hit save notes. I've also added this functionality that when I click on the note, I can actually summarize it with AI. So you can see that we got our summary here generated by an AI model. Next, let's test documents. I'll upload one and when it's done, I can click on the summarize icon and again, I can get the instant summary of that document. If we go back to the dashboard, you can see it's also keeping track of my activity. Now the first two use cases were in the MVP, but I went ahead and implemented the third use case as well, voice notes. So instead of typing, I can just record and using transcription, it's going to generate our notes. And speaking of getting started with Warp's ADE, they're celebrating their launch with a special promotion. You can get Warp Pro for just $5 this week only. If you want to try out all these agentic development features I've shown you, now's the perfect time to jump in. 
That brings us to the end of this video. If you'd like to support the channel and help us keep making videos like this, you can do so by using the super thanks button below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.